Today we're going to use shapes to draw an object. We're going to use a circle and an oval. Very similar, but a little bit different. Ovals look like circles that have been stretched out a little bit, almost like an egg shape. We can make ovals horizontally, or we can make them vertically too. So we're going to use a couple of ovals and a couple of circles to draw a picture of a pig. Let me show you how. Hey, check out this pig. Is that just so cute? We're going to draw a pig today. Let me show you how. We're going to use a white piece of paper and two circles, a big circle and a small circle. We'll use the big circle first. We want to hold our paper up and down tall. We're going to put the circle right in the middle and then we're going to trace around it. Let me show you how. Okay, tracing is harder than it looks. You have to use both hands at the same time. One hand is going to hold the circle and never ever move while the other hand holds the pencil and traces around the edge. You have to start at one side and move your pencil slowly and close to the circle. I'm really scraping the edge of the circle. Notice my left hand never ever moves. It's holding really tight. And I even have to lift my arm way up so I can finish back under there. Whew. Now that I'm finished, I can finally lift that hand up and move it and there's my circle. I'm going to do that again with the smaller one. This one's going to go right inside, right in the middle. Again, hold it down tight with one hand. Don't let that hand move and scrape that pencil all the way around the sides, even under your arm until you reach the other side again and then you can move it. Now we have the small circle inside the big circle. Let me give you some time to do that. Okay, you got that part done? Now we're gonna add two more circles. Big circle, mama circle. Now we're gonna add smaller baby circles in the middle, two of them for our pig's nostrils. Look, they're not actually circles. They're more ovals. Circles are round, ovals are a little bit longer. So I added one oval, two ovals. I'll give you time to do that. Now this time we're going to add some circles for the eyes. We're going to put them in between these two circles. One eye is a circle. Two eyes are circles. I don't want the eyes outside the circle. That would be off the pig. Eyes are not off a pig. And I don't want them inside the circle, the one middle one, because that would be on the nose. You don't have eyes on your nose. So it needs to be in between. And then I can put a little black dot right in the middle of each. I'll give you time to do that. Now we're going to draw two triangles. Triangles have points for ears. I'm gonna start at the top of the pig's head and go up to a point and back down. Then I'll start at the pig's head and go up to a point and back down. I'll give you time to do that. Last, we're gonna do the pig's legs. His two front legs that he's standing on. We can't see the ones in the back because we're looking at them from the front. We're going to come down one side, down the other side for one leg, 
down one side, down the other side for the other leg. I like to put hooves on my pigs. So I come up to a point and back down and up to a point and back down. Now our pig has his two front feet. Finally, let's give the pig a curly tail and then we're going to put ground line in the back for our pig. We've talked about this before. Ground line is what separates the earth from the sky. Remember if our pig's on a farm, he's standing in the grass. So I might put a little wiggly line behind the pig so when it stops where the pig is and then continues out the other side. That way it looks like the pig is standing on the farm and the sky is behind him. And last, let's give our pig a nice little smile. There we go. He's ready to go. Okay, now that we have our pig drawn, we're going to use a pink crayon to color our pig. We're going to color everything on the pig pink except his white eyes. So I'm going to carefully trace around the eyes, make a circle right around the eyes so that I remember, do not color the eyes. Then I'll make a circle around this eye for the same reason. I want to remember, do not color the eyes. Everything else will be colored. Then I'm going to outline, which means I make a line with my crayon around the edge. I don't want to color up to the edge because then my crayon goes outside the line and my pig looks all messy. But I want to color right along those edges. And once I get him outlined, then I can go back and color him in. Color his ears, color his face and his body. I'm going to even color his nose. All over his nose. I'm gonna color his legs too. And I can color his curly tail. Okay? So I will give you some time to do all that coloring. We want to color everything solid. Don't leave any white spaces. So if I start coloring here, and get it all colored over here. You can see how that's not finished. There's still white spaces in there. So I'm gonna go back and color it some more. Oops, still white spaces. Color it some more. Oops, still white spaces. And then color it some more. Remember, don't color the eyes. Think about what you're doing. You're coloring the nose, the mouth, and the ears. There we go. He is all finished. His ears are pink. His body's pink. His nose is pink. His mouth is pink. His tail is pink. And his feet are pink. Not his eyes. Not the sky. Not the ground. All right? You give it a try. So today we used a circle and oval to draw a picture of a pig and color him in nice and solid. No white areas showing inside the pig, except for the whites of his eyes. If your pig looks like this, then you didn't do it right. It's a big scribble-scrabble mess. 
hopefully you can go back and fill in those white spaces and make him nice and solid. Save him. We're going to work on him again next week. This will keep you busy for this week. Have fun. Bye-bye.